Hello and welcome. This video is going to be slightly later than normal because I think EA have had some sort of login server kind of problem. Seems to be experienced by a whole lot of people. Use the website uh, Down Detector and that had some massive spikes for uh, EA problems around the five, four, five, six o'clock mark this evening. So we're in today, which is good. It's, it's sorted itself out, whatever you, however you want to phrase it. Um, and we'll just check if these can go back into the club. No, just Hala. Um, so we'll check what's new today, see if SPCs, moments, stuff in the store, objectives, milestones, that, that kind of thing. We also have a new, um, uh, uh, new promo trophy titans uh, that was on the splash screen, that will be on the splash screen, um, that I will show you for a bit. Okay, we also have... Oh, I'm... I'm away this weekend, so this is something that I will be missing out. Oh, 20 days. I can do it next weekend. Even better. Um, so, yeah, there won't be videos this weekend. Uh, Thursday, Friday... Oh, Thursday through to Sunday or Monday. So, yeah, there'll be a bit of silence from myself on that front. Just letting you know ahead of time. We've got a new token in First Owner Fiesta. Um... Everything, yeah, that's all as normal there. Um, that looks like the only new thing bar this foot champions bonus objectives. Okay, that's cool. No, wait a minute, didn't check the obvious. Season progress is continuing, two levels left there, and there's no event. We are not surprised. Okay, cool. We have squad foundations for um. Combinable Libertadores and Combinable Libertadores as well. Okay, that's that's Roque Santa Cruz. He's 42. Is he still playing? If he is, that's impressive. And that card is pretty strong. Okay, he's 6'3 with a 5-star weak foot. Huge sprint speed. That shooting, 98, 96, 93, with good volleys and good penalties. Curve is good. Composure is really good. Ball control is really good. Heady accuracy and the strength as well. It's a Veghorst type card. I would probably... A Hunter kind of wastes sprint speed because you're only adding three on. So I'd probably go with an engine. Because then you've got... 89 and then 99 in the pace column. You're boosting that dribbling, that balance, that agility and the passing as well. So I would probably go with an engine. He's got the power header trait. That's a decent card. So that's... Oh, there's managerial masterpiece. Okay, win five games there with three Condor Libertadores players in your starting squad. Score 10 goals with Condor Libertadores players. Assist 15, through ball with three, score and assist in three separate matches. Okay, that's fine. And then this is in SPCs. Okay, so do this in SPCs and then use those players in the squad. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, uh, we are playing for a Marcus Rojo here. Three star, three star. I mean, the pace is good. The dribbling is really good for a defender. The physicals are really strong. And the defending is... Level, but level enough to merit a shadow. You can comfortably use a shadow on that card to to good benefit, basically. So that's a good for that one. That's overall. And then we get 10 goals in squad battles on semi-pro. And we get this Fernandez, 4-star, 3-star. Can be right back as well. So anywhere up the right-hand side of the pitch. I mean... Good pace, decent dribbling, decent physicals, solid defending, which implies he, he's his right back, he's a valuable option as well. And shooting is not great, so maybe more of a defensive role for him. No traits at all. Yeah, decent right back, I suppose. Uh, goal pack for the 15 goals. Win eight for a small gold players pack. And we get De La Cruz. For score goal using Comfortable Libertadores players um, in 
semi pro. Okay, so four star, four star. That's a nice card. Right, mid, centre mid, or cam. And perfect aggression, perfect stamina. Quite a few 90 rated stats all over the shop there. No traits. That's not a bad card. Put that at cam behind two decent strikers, and you're good. High, high work rates as well. That's nice. You've got De La Cruz, you've got Rojo, and then you've got Fernandez, and then you can take those three into here and then play online to win the Santa Cruz. That makes sense. That's good. We like kind of more Libertadores stuff. Um, so note that it's Libertadores, not Sudamericana. So, or the other one. I, is it Sudamericana? It is, isn't it? Uh, so just make sure you pick the right type of players. That's always good. I'll show you what type of players it is. Let's just go to whatever squad we're in. Uh, I know it's not in Silver Lounge. I'm just showing you what type of players you need. So you need to use, not these ones here. You need to use these ones here. So, yeah, it's got two strikers there. Both relatively okay. They'll work in squad battle semi-pro to get me the Libertadores goals that I need to get through to the next stage. That's cool. That's cool. That's okay. We like a bit of that. We like the Sudamericana uh, player involvement. And the fact that there's a 42-year-old Rocky Santa Cruz at the end of it, I like that. Because I remember when he used to play for uh, for Munich, uh, for Blackburn, etc., all that kind of thing when he was an actual player in the peak of his career. When he came to Blackburn, it was actually a bit of a coup for them. Um, we're going to have 85 times 5 refreshing today, I'm sure. Will we have any actual players? Let's see. So we've got Alexandra there. We've got Jonathan Bamba there. We've got Anti Rabio Lone there. Pedro still there. We've got... His first name is Ridley. I did not know that. Ridley Baku, right mid Right back, right mid, centre mid and right wing. He might be worth it for the flexibility alone. No traits. I mean, he's he's solid without being spectacular. The physicals are good. The defending is good. The dribbling is pretty good for what it is. Passing could do a little improvement. Pace is really good. With the right card, you could... What could you do to that? If you're using it in central mid, you could put like a backbone on it. That would boost your physicals up. He'd be an absolute... He'd be a bit of a physical monster there. Plus his defending would boost up and his passing as well. Yeah, backbone might be the one to go. The passing, defending, physical one. And centre mid or right back, to be honest, with that card. With that card, that's a good one. Yeah, I like that. I might well do that. So he's a one segment SBC. Eighty. He's going to be an eighty-four, isn't he? Please be an eighty-four. Eighty-five. I guess with the physicality and the the nationality link, that's probably a reasonable, reasonable. I might do that with um, what's the word? Duplicates. So we've got the 80 plus triple. That's given me some good outcomes, to be honest. I know it's expensive, 10 rare golds and one common, but it's given me some decent rated cards. I've had everything from Ruben Diaz. Um, I've had a couple of Pedris. I've had a Trent, that kind of thing. You, you get good cards from that. Some, obviously, I've had a couple where it's 82, 82, 83 or something like that, but that's still reasonable when you're putting in uh, 75s and 76s into it. 85 times 5 is back. Uh, daily login we will do straight away and we'll see if there is a normal uh, SBC of the day. Let's see what we've got. We'll put you in. And see what we've got. Uh, subbed in there. So today's the 12th. is the 12th one. So that's basically the whole thing done let's see who we get for a loan Alba already got it's got to be Park hasn't it yeah we're going to take Park blue card blue kit doesn't work but it's still a handy looking card to be honest 
And I think he could. So he's still viable for the upgrades. We will see. Right. So then that's the upgrade. That, that's Alex Iwobi. That's the hero pick. Rashford, character of Illy. Kit, Deceit, Deceit, whatever his name was. Year in review. I'm still going to give that a miss. But draft token upgrade we would definitely do. Kashavili, Kante, and upgrade. So, any icons? No icons. Okay. So, Baku, year review, 85 plus 5, daily login. First turn of Fiesta with a token. Um, and then the Foot Champions, Foot Champions bonus objective, which we had a look at. Um, and then... Um, the Comdable Libertadores stuff, which personally I like, I think is a good thing. So I might open the t five, the two times eighty five plus, because that will help me get to the other SBC, and that'll help me do the eighty five times five. Um, Hala Madrid or at ooh, uh, we we'll go with this one. I like the bigger Tifo. Do you actually, does anybody actually, or the TIFOs that are here and all that kind of stuff, do you actually use them? I mean, they're there and I like the retro nature of it, but does anybody actually, have anybody actually put the stuff on the stadium? Or once you've set your stadium in like September, do you not touch it? Do you not upgrade it? Do you not care about it? Lights are up. What are we getting? It's Telem. Oh, it's Kevin. D oh, that's nice. So always do your daily login. Look at that. 91 rated card from the daily login. It's a duplicate. So we're going to have to go and do an SBC to put Kevin De Bruyne into something. Because that is done and done. So to get to the other 85 times thing, I'm going to have to do this. So we'll get this out of the way quickly. Where is 85 times 5? Where are you? There you are. So we've got De Bruyne. We'll put in... Well, we won't put in Nacho. Let's get a um, gold team of the week. Um, put in you. Um, Mario Marla. I want to keep. I could. Put, I could use him if I need to. Do I want to keep anybody else? Kia. I said I'm keeping. Koku, I think I'm going to keep for a bit. Morris Simmons in Cape stays, I said. Wait, let's have a look at... Sorry, this is the... I don't know about you, but I have a quite a long-winded way of picking who I'm going to get rid of and keep. Um, wait, in Cape is there, so he is... Is he left back? Left back. So he's not going to get in ahead of Guerrero. Is he going to get in the centre-back role ahead of Schlotterbeck or Sula? Maybe, but I'm not deciding now. Um, who was I looking at here? Kia. Kia. Did I get rid of the keeper? I did get rid of the keeper. Did I want to keep Kia at centre-back? Or do I want to use Bremer or Schmall? I think Schmall and Kalua were keeping. Kia beats out Bremer, so Bremer can go. Right, let's get some golds and get this done. We will use Nacho. De Bruyne's in, Nacho's in. And then can we do the rest with 84s? Let's see. Four, 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 four. Uh, three. Oh, we're short. Nah. Okay, let's go get five and sixes. Jorginho can go any day of the week. Pedri and Galashi. And then in dire needs, we've got a Trent. So let's boost one up. Oh, we were one short. One shorts can we we can't waggle that so we've just got the one 
Okay, so De Bruyne comes in clutch. That is a pretty good pick from an 81 double upgrade, allowing me to do that much cheaper than it would have been otherwise, which is always a good thing. It's like getting something good in your preview pack. You don't expect it, and then it comes out like a big proper bonus kind of thing. Right, where are my cards I said I was going to open? Where's the... So was it 285 or 284? Two. Oh, there it is. That was from part of the thing. So we'll do that just because it was half of the reward. And then I'm going to keep it. Keep the other stuff till a promo I actually like. Because even some of the... I just want a card that I like. I like, oh, it's Salah. Nice. I want a card that I just like, I really, really, really want. And looking at this team, apart from like Maldini, Eusebio, and there was another one. Oh, the Man of the Match, Haaland, to be honest, I really wouldn't mind. But that's not bad. Um, it's just really the want of that player to want to open all of the rest of these packs. Because I've got far too many. Five times 84s, 1083s, 2s, and... 585 loads of them plus um the uh swaps one as well so i've got to trade those tokens in so what have we got here nothing 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 65 3 to be 8 no mid icon mid icon nobody not well Unless you're going to get one of the top three, nobody's team is going to be that much improved. If you're a regular player, by a mid icon, I, I would say obviously there will be exceptions. I'm not making casting dispersions on everybody. So yeah, today for birthday Baku, which looks like a decent looking little card, um, very um, useful in different positions: midfielder, right back, right mid, right wing. Year review player pick, which I'm going to avoid. The 85 plus times 5, which I've already done. Daily login, which we've already done. Got a win out of that. First load of Fiesta, which has got a token hidden in it, which you want to have a look at. Foot Champions bonus objectives, which is here for three weeks and is well worth looking at that as well for some extra cards and picks and packs. And then the Foundations common about Milestones, which is a good thing as well. Personally, I like the look of those. I like the look of Baku. It's a good day of content, and especially when the biggest card available is Rocky Santa Cruz, which personally, from a nostalgia point of view, I love. It's got to be good. Okay, we'll end it there. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. I hope in the end EA sort out the server issues and everybody has a reasonable like connection. It gets here without too many problems, but I understand it's been a problem for a lot of people um, coming out around 6 o'clock. Uh, so yeah, we'll end it there. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you got in your packs, if you got anything half as good as Kevin De Bruyne, um, or Mohamed Salah, to be honest. Uh, otherwise, we'll end it there. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it for clicking on the video. And I'll see you this time tomorrow for Wednesday. Thank you and goodbye.